हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ अरोही एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो गैज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ वी कैन परफॉर्म ऑब्जेक्ट ट्रैकिंग यूजिंग योलो वी फाइव एंड डीप सॉट एलगोरिदम सो वेन एवर वी वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म ऑब्जेक्ट ट्रैकिंग देर आर टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट इज ऑब्जेक्ट डिटेक्शन एंड देन वी परफॉर्म ऑब्जेक्ट ट्रैकिंग ओके सो फॉर ऑब्जेक्ट डिटेक्शन विल यूज योलो वी फाइव एलगोरिदम एंड फॉर ऑब्जेक्ट ट्रैकिंग विल यूज डीप सॉट एलगोरिदम सो लेट्स बिगिन so guys first step is to clone this github repo i'm cloning this github repo and once you clone this github repo you will get this type of folder in your current working directory when you will open this folder you will see a requirements.txt file over here and this requirement file have all the mod uh, modules which you need to install if you want to run this particular code right so that's what i'm doing i'm entering in the folder i'm installing the requirements and guys one thing to note over here is if you'll check this github repo over here they have mentioned to install python 3.8 or the later versions so when i tried my code with python 3.8 so i was getting some errors so i have downgraded my python version to this particular version so this is just a optional step i'm just telling you let's suppose if you're working with python 3.8 and you got you know any sort of errors then you can work with python 3.7 also and specifically i am using this particular version okay and uh, okay you have installed the requirements now and after that now using this command we can perform the you know object tracking task so guys in my today's video i'm not working on a custom data set i'll show you that in my next video how to use object uh, how to perform object tracking on your custom data set using uh, this deep sort algorithm and yolo v5 in this video we will use a coco data set a pre trained model which uh, we will use a pre trained model which is trained on coco data set and we we are using the trained model and we'll give some demo video and we'll see if the object tracker is working or not okay so we have one file with the name of track.py you'll get that file when you'll clone when you'll open this clone github repo over there you'll see this track file okay using this file we are running okay so source okay now i want to run this object tracker on a video so that's why i'm writing this in a source so if you want to use webcam you can write source 0 for image you can do this and for video you can do this okay so i am testing on a video so this is my source and guys this is this parameter is important save video because if you will not write this parameter in the command then algorithm will run but the saved video the video with um, object tracking and detections that video will not be saved in any uh, folder so if you want to save that video then you need to pass this parameter and this is the uh, deep sort algorithm weights on coco dataset so we are providing that now let me show you the video before tracking first and then i'll show you the same video after tracking okay so the video is okay so this is the video on which i want to perform the tracking right just see this video all right now let's close it once you run this command guys after that and you can see here for every frame let me crawl up okay and when you'll execute this command you'll see like this and for every frame the video which i'm giving it has 388 frames and for every frame it will also give you a count like this two persons seven cars three traffic lights okay in first frame these are the things in second frame these are the thing third frame have these things okay you'll get Uh, results like this and finally your video will be stored at this particular location okay now let's open that video and see so you'll get this runs folder once you execute this command right this runs folder will 
uh, git created itself once you run that uh, that command and when you open it go under this track exp4 now let me run this video now you can see objects are tracking and uh, in front of every object there is one id because object tracking we are tracking the object if uh, one unique id will be assigned to one item right so every item this is traffic light right detection okay let's play again so this is a traffic light and over here we are getting a confidence score and in front of it we are getting a id 9 okay in the same way this is a traffic light over here we have a confidence score and id is 10 for this every object will get a different id so this is how it works and guys now the next thing is this is one thing now for example if you want to track the object but you don't want to track all the objects you don't want to track the cars you only want to track the uh, persons then how you can implement this code so for that this is the code track dot for uh, py again source i'm working on that video only and these are the weights right these are the yolo weights these are the uh, deep sort algorithm weights save video will save the uh, our uh, output video and classes zero class zero is for uh, persons and let's suppose if you want to uh, work on different classes for cat id is 16 for dogs id is 17 this is how you can work on specific uh, you know uh, classes so now at this particular location we have a video where we are tracking only humans okay so let's see that let's open this video guys now you can see we are only tracking humans no traffic lights no cars nothing is detecting we are only tracking the persons over here okay so you can see here right so um, this is how this object tracker work so guys um, i will share this uh, link the github link in my description section you can try this code and i'll uh, show you how to work on custom classes custom data set using this yolo v5 and deep sort in my next video i hope you like my video thank you for watching and guys if you like my channel if you like my videos please like share and subscribe my channel Thank you for watching.